I finished it. Hello. I am gonna try to do something today that I've never done, which is cut up an actual book. So this book was $3.99 from Savers Thrift Store. So I'm like, all right, I don't read French. It won't hurt me so bad. I won't know what I'm cutting up. So it's Bit de la Verne. I don't speak French, Italian, Spanish, French, no. Um, but it's got all these beautiful landscapes and I'm gonna cut up all these cities and images and and make myself a little collage. See what inspires me. I ran into a little bit of trouble here because both sides of this image were so beautiful. I didn't know which one to cut. So in the end, I just decided to let this one go. I came across the same issue here, but luckily I think I can preserve the elements on both sides that I want. So we'll do a little creative surgery. We'll try to get this nice shape of the hill here as well as this beautiful field. So let's see how I do. And voila, both sides. I also had this Civil War magazine that I thought might have some inspiration, but just this on the back. So my idea is to make a landscape with this kind of multi-layered medieval French village theme. Cut these out and have them layer and layer and layer to create hills and fields, kind of have the fields here at the bottom. So I'm going to cut out some of these layers here and try to overlap them so we have the illusion of distance. And I'm going to try to make the sky a little more dramatic by adding some of the extra clouds that I haven't cut out or that I have cut out from the background of the mountains. So I'm going to try to combine all of these things and really get this layered with a lot of chunky color. So we'll see. We'll see if this works. Okay, so I have some pieces cut out. They're not exactly the same uh, scale, but that's what I like about it. So we'll see. This one is gonna kind of go down here. Then we've got random hills. I might try to see where, where the overlap can be. I could cut like a slit and have things definitely layering in between one another. And if I like some of these scenes here, I might cut strips and put them around as well. Because the point is to make like a fantasy world. It's not fully real. I'm kind of cutting away a lot of the scenery, but 
with it. It's a definite fake place. Not real at all. And the lemon gives it the surreal tone. And I can even cut out like more little houses from these pieces here and just tack them in wherever I think they might go. And then because the background is fairly boring, I'm definitely layering in all these random sky pieces. I'm going to cut them into chunks and kind of have this random sky. I might cut this part out and put something behind it. Like use the knife to kind of cut that out and slide it behind. I have this one as well. I might be too busy. I might cut some of the houses in the front out and put them around. Maybe here because there are some parts where I've got a mask, borders, and edges. Um, I decided that I'm gonna trim off some of this blue. It's too much. And I'd rather have more of the busy scene. Even though I'm gonna put sky there, I'd rather have more of like the busy scene. I want it to feel like an endless tall Tower of Babel kind of landscape. Um, and I'm also getting a little nervous about putting things down, but I have a whole book full of cities, like French countryside city landscapes to cut out, so I shouldn't be worried. Like I can always just get another castle and stick it on top. like. It doesn't matter. Um, there, are, there are many more to come, many more from this book. Um, so I shouldn't be worried about it. I'm just gonna do it, but I am nervous. But I'm, I'm digging the, the layering. I like the, the, the way the shadows are all coming together. Oh, I have to get this piece down first, I think, though. This one's gonna have to get glued down here. You might argue that I'm losing this whole thing, but it's. It's, it's serving a purpose. So I'm gonna glue this part down here so we get the overlap so that hopefully it'll still be the same, roughly the same size when I cut that part off. And then I'll hopefully glue the whole thing down on another piece of paper to make it sturdier and that will be that. I am a messy, messy collage artist. Like, such a mess. That's part of how I do things. Just have at, go for it. And I might, hmm, I might want to try to make more of this comfy because it's gorgeous. How do I do that? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It's a work in progress. and very obviously collage-like. And I added a little more down here as well, in the fields, some like a fence and some more of the cloud grass. I added a little mound here, just because. And I added a couple houses, I think this one. Um, so now for me, I'm gonna trim this edge a little bit. Did I not glue that down properly? Oh, I don't think I did. Oh well, okay. Um, so now what I need is like more, um, I think I need a couple more buildings, and I'm not quite sure about this hill here. I might, I mean, it's kind of there now, but I think I need a couple more focal things, and I have to figure out what words to use. Like, I found this. Maybe I'll put the word there. That might work. I think that might work. I could, like, tuck it underneath here. Like, Hollywood sign, kind of in the hills. Um, but... I also thought perhaps like the new bit marriages. I'm not sure what I would do with that. I'd cover too much up. I might cut, cut 
take this out and put it in the sky. Um, and then I had this little piece of corn. I thought that might make a fun accent down here, but it's a little hard to cut out. So I'll see if I can. I'll also see if I can spend a couple more accents to put. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that right now. I think I need to let it sit, think about it, and come back to it after a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. I was going to walk away to think about it. And instead I walked away for like two seconds and then I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just going to go and finish it. So here on my messy desk, as you can see, I have just gone ahead and finished it. Some flowers. And I called that corn. It is wheat. I know. I know. So for now, I think this is it. I think this is done. I finished it. There it is. Chunky sky. Layered foreground. Little flowers. A little bit of wheat. Hollywood honey sign. I like it. Also, I mentioned that I usually have a B-reel of things that I didn't quite, you know, they didn't make the cut for the original collage, but they're too good to waste. Um, and I could save them for another one entirely, but usually I have some kind of an idea, so it will go on my, my B-reel in my book. So here's the one that I just made right now. And I like this washi tape because it looks kind of like like Moorish tiles and this kind of reminds me of like a like an Islamic city so I think this looks good.